सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ साइंस फॉर क्लास सेवन एन टाइटल्ड साइंस दिस इज द लेसन फोर्टीन इलेक्ट्रिक करंट एंड इट्स इफेक्ट्स फ्रॉम पेज वन सिक्सटी वन टू पेज वन सेवेंटी थ्री लेट्स लिसन टू द लेसन फोर्टीन electric current and its effects page 161 you might have tried the game how steady is your hand suggested in chapter 12 of class 6 if not you may try it out now paheli and bojho had also set up the game by connecting an electric circuit as suggested in class 6 they had lots of fun trying it out with their families and friends they enjoyed it so much that they decided to suggest it to a cousin of theirs who stayed in a different town so paheli made a neat drawing showing how the various electric components were to be connected you can observe this in figure 14.1 figure 14.1 set up to check how steady your hand is here we can observe a battery the battery is connected to a safety pin and a nail the nail is connected to another nail which is connected to a key the key and safety pin are connected to a bulb can you draw this circuit conveniently it made bojho wonder if there was an easier way to represent these electric components 14.1 symbols of electric components some electric components can be represented by symbols in table 14.1 some electric components and their symbols are given you may come across different symbols for these components in different books however in this book we shall be using the symbols given here observe the symbols carefully in the symbol for the electric cell notice that there is a longer line and a shorter but thicker parallel line do you recall that an electric cell has a positive terminal and a negative terminal in the symbol of the electric cell the longer line represents the positive terminal and the thicker shorter line represents the negative terminal for a switch the on position and the off position are represented by the symbols given here the wires used to connect the various components in a circuit are represented by lines in table 14.1 a battery and its symbol are also given do you know what a battery is observe the symbol of a battery can you make out what a battery could be for some of the activities we may need more than one cell so we connect two or more cells as you can observe in figure 14.2 page 161 notice that the positive terminal of one cell is connected to the negative terminal of the next cell such a combination of two or more cells is called a battery table 14.1 symbols for some electric circuit components in this table there are three columns and six rows the first column has serial number the second electric component the third symbol 1 electric cell the symbol is a thin letter t and a thick letter t facing each other the thin letter t has a longer line 2 electric bulb the symbol is a circle and a line passing through it which breaks in the middle forms two curves to make another circle which is much smaller in shape 
switch in on position. Here we can observe two small dots. These dots are connected with the help of a line passing through them. 4. Switch in off position. Here also we can observe two dots. These dots are disconnected as the line passing through them changes direction in the middle. 5. Battery The symbol for this is a horizontal thin line, a vertical thin line connected to it, a bold shorter vertical line parallel to the thin line, a dotted horizontal line connected to the bold line, a thin vertical line connected to the dotted line, a bold line parallel to the thin line which is shorter than the thin line and at the end a horizontal line connected to the bold line. 6. Wire The symbol for this is a horizontal line. Many devices such as Torches, transistors, toys, TV remote controls use batteries. However, in some of these devices, the electric cells are not always placed one after the other as you can observe in figure 14.2. Sometimes the cells are placed side by side. Then, how are the terminals of the cells connected? Observe carefully inside the battery compartment of any device. There is usually a thick wire or a metal strip connecting the positive terminal of one cell to the negative terminal of the next cell. You can observe this in figure 14.3. In order to help you to place the cells correctly in the battery compartment, positive and negative symbols are usually printed there. How can we connect the cells to prepare batteries for our activities? You may make a cell holder as you can observe in figure 14.4 using a wooden block, two iron strips and rubber bands. It is necessary that the rubber bands hold the metal strips tightly. Figure 14.2 A. A battery of two cells Here we can observe two cells connected to each other. B. A battery of four cells Here we can observe four cells connected to each other. Figure 14.3 Connecting two cells together to make a battery here, we can observe a pair of batteries. These batteries have been made by connecting two cells with the help of wire. Page 162 Figure 14.4 A Cell Holder Here, we can observe a wooden cell holder. The cells have been placed on it. Figure 14.5 Another type of cell holder This cell holder has been made of plastic. You could also buy cell holders from the market for making batteries of two or more electric cells. Place the cells in them properly such that the positive terminal of one cell is connected to the negative terminal of the next cell. Connect a piece of wire each to the two metal clips on the cell holder as you can observe in figure 14.5. Your battery is ready for use. The symbol used for representing a battery is given in table 14.1. Let us now draw a circuit diagram of an electric circuit using symbols you can observe in table 14.1. Paheli and Bojo wonder whether the batteries used in tractors, trucks and inverters are also made from cells. Then why is it called a battery? Can you help them?
to find the answer to this question. Figure 14.6 Truck battery and its cutout Here we can observe a truck battery. It has been cut out so we can closely observe what's inside the battery. Activity 14.1 Make the electric circuit you can observe in figure 14.7. You used a similar circuit in class 6th to make an electric bulb glow. Do you remember that the bulb glows only when the switch is in the on position? The bulb glows as soon as the switch is moved to the on position. Copy this electric circuit in your notebook. Make also a circuit diagram of this circuit using symbols for the various electric components. Is your diagram similar to the one you can observe in figure 14.8? Is it much easier to draw a circuit diagram using symbols? Therefore, we generally represent an electric circuit by its circuit diagram. Figure 14.9 tells you about another circuit diagram. Is it identical to the circuit diagram you can observe in figure 14.8? In which way is it different? Would the bulb glow? In this electric circuit? Recall that the bulb glows only when the switch is in the on position and the electric circuit is closed. Page 163 Figure 14.7 In this figure, a battery has been connected to a safety pin from the negative terminal and a bulb from the side of the positive terminal. This has been done with the help of a wire. The safety pin further has been connected to the bulb. This has also been done with the help of a wire. We can observe that the bulb is glowing. Figure 14.8 Circuit diagram of electric circuit you can observe in figure 14.7 Here we can observe in this diagram that the symbol of the bulb is glowing. This bulb has been connected to the symbol of a cell which is on the left side of the bulb. We can also observe that this is a closed circuit. Figure 14.9 Another circuit diagram in this diagram, the symbol of bulb is not glowing. The bulb has also been connected to the symbol of the cell. The only difference from the last diagram is that this is not a closed circuit. 1. Notice that the key or switch can be placed anywhere in the circuit. 2. When the switch is in the on position, the circuit from the positive terminal of the battery to the negative terminal is complete. The circuit is then said to be closed and the current flows throughout the circuit instantly. 3. When the switch is in the off position, the circuit is incomplete. It is said to be open. No current flows through any part of the circuit. In the bulb, there is a thin wire called filament which glows when an electric current passes through it. When the bulb gets fused, its filament is broken. Caution! Never touch a lighted electric bulb connected to the mains. It may be very hot and your hand may get burnt badly. Do not experiment with the electric supply from the mains or a generator or an inverter. You may get an electric shock which may be dangerous. Use only electric cells for all the activities suggested here. If the filament of the bulb is broken, would the circuit be complete? Would the bulb still glow? You might have noticed that a glowing electric bulb becomes warm. Do you know why? 
14.2 Heating effect of electric current Activity 14.2 Take an electric cell, a bulb, a switch and connecting wires. Make an electric circuit as you can observe in figure 14.9. This activity has to be done using only one cell. Keep the switch in the off position. Page 164 Does the bulb glow? Touch the bulb. Now, move the electric switch in the on position and let the bulb glow for a minute or so. Again, touch the bulb. Do you feel the difference? After moving the switch back to the off position, touch the bulb again. Activity 14.3 Make a circuit as you can observe in figure 14.10 Take about 10 cm long piece of nichrome wire and tie it between the nails. You can get nichrome wire from an electric repair shop or you can use a piece of discarded coil of an electric heater. Touch the wire. Now, switch on the current in the circuit by moving the switch to the on position. After a few seconds, touch the wire. Do not hold it for a long time. Switch off the current. Touch the wire again after a few minutes. The wire gets hot when an electric current passes through it. This is the heating effect of the electric current. Can you think of any electric appliance where the heating effect of the electric current is used? Make a list of such appliances. Figure 14.10 In this figure, we can observe two nails which are connected with the help of a wire. The nail on the right side is connected to the symbol of a cell. This is an open circuit. Caution! Do not keep the switch in the on position for a long time. Otherwise, the cell may become weak very quickly. You might have observed an electric room heater or an electric heater used for cooking. All these contain a coil of wire. This coil of wire is called an element. You may have noticed that when these appliances are switched on after connecting to the electric supply, their elements become red hot and give out heat. Bojo could not see element in an electric iron. Pahiri told him that electrical appliances such as immersion heaters, hot plates, irons, geysers, electric kettles, hair dryers have elements inside them. Have you ever observed the element in any appliance? Figure 14.11 Element of Electric Iron Page 165 The amount of heat produced in a wire depends on its material length and thickness. Thus, for different requirements, the wires of different materials and different lengths and thicknesses are used. The wires used for making electric circuits do not normally become hot. On the other hand, the elements of some electric appliances become so hot that they are easily visible. The filament of an electric bulb gets heated to such a high temperature that it starts glowing. Figure 14.12 Glowing filament of an electric bulb This is incandescent. Incandescent electric bulbs which you can observe in figure 14.12 are often used for lighting but they also give heat. It means that a part of electricity consumed is used in producing heat. This is not desirable as it results in the wastage of electricity. The fluorescent tube lights and compact fluorescent lamps or CFLs are better electricity efficient lighting sources. Nowadays, the use of light emitting diode 
or LED bulbs is increasing. For producing a given intensity of light, LED bulbs consume less electricity as compared to incandescent bulbs or fluorescent tubes or CFLs. Thus, LED bulbs are much electricity efficient and therefore being preferred. Figure 14.13 Electric Bulb, Tube Light, CFL and LED It is advised to use electrical appliances and gadgets which are electricity efficient. Bureau of Indian Standards, New Delhi, assigns a standard mark on products called ISI mark. The symbol of this mark has been given here. This symbol has been made with the help of the words ISI. This mark is an assurance of conformity to the specifications given on the products. It is therefore suggested to use ISI mark products. Note, fluorescent tubes and CFLs contain mercury vapour, toxic in nature. Therefore, damaged fluorescent tubes or CFLs need to be disposed of safely. Page 166 Figure 14.14 Fuse used in buildings If a large current passes through a wire, the wire may become so hot that it may even melt and break. But is it possible for a wire to melt and break? Let us check it out. Activity 14.4 Make the circuit we used for activity 14.3 again. However, replace the cell with a battery of 4 cells. Also, in place of the nichrome wire, tie a thin strand of steel wool. The steel wool is commonly used for cleaning utensils and is available in grocery shops. If there are any fans in the room, switch them off. Now, pass the current through the circuit for some time. Observe the strand of steel wool carefully. Note what happens. Does the strand of steel wool melt and break? Wires made from special materials melt quickly and break when large electric currents are passed through them. These wires are used for making electric fuses, which you can observe in figure 14.14. In all buildings, fuses are inserted in all electrical circuits. There is a maximum limit on the current which can safely flow through a circuit. If by accident the current exceeds this safe limit, the wires may become overheated and may cause fire. If a proper fuse is there in the circuit, it will blow off and break the circuit. A fuse is thus a safety device which prevents damages to electrical circuits and possible fires. Figure 14.15 Fuses used in electrical appliances Caution! Never try to investigate an electric fuse connected to main circuit on your own. You may, however, visit an electric repair shop and compare the burnt-out fuses with the new ones. One reason for excessive currents in electrical circuits is the direct touching of wires. This may happen if the insulation on the wires has come off due to wear and tear. This may cause a short circuit. Another reason for excessive current can be the connection of many devices to a single socket. This may cause overload in the circuit. You might have read reports in newspapers about fires caused by short circuits and overloads. Page 167 These days, miniature circuit breakers or MCBs are increasingly being used in place of fuses. These are switches which automatically turn off when current in a circuit exceeds the safe limit. You turn them on and the circuit is once again complete. Look for ISI mark 
on MCBs also. Figure 14.16 Miniature Circuit Breaker Caution! Always use proper fuses which have been specified for particular applications carrying ISI mark. Never use just any wire or strip of metal in place of a fuse. Fuses of different kinds are used for different purposes. Figure 14.14 tells us about fuses used in our houses. Fuses you can observe in figure 14.15 are generally used in electrical appliances. We observed the heating effect of the electric current and learned how we use it to our advantage. Does the electric current have other effects also? 14.3 Magnetic Effect of Electric Current Activity 14.5 Take the cardboard tray from inside a discarded matchbox. Wrap an electric wire a few times around the cardboard tray. Place a small compass needle inside it. Now connect the free ends of this wire to an electric cell through a switch as you can observe in figure 14.17. Note the direction in which the compass needle is pointing. Bring a bar magnet near the compass needle. Observe what happens. Now while watching the compass needle carefully move the switch to the on position. Figure 14.17 Effect of Current on a Compass Needle Here we can observe the matchbox with the compass needle. It has been connected to a cell on one side and a bulb on the other side. This has been done with the help of wire. This is an open circuit. Figure 14.18 Hans Christian Oersted. He lived from A.D. 1777 to 1851. Page 168. What do you observe? Does the compal needle deflect? Move the switch back to the off position. Does the compass needle come back to its initial position? Repeat the experiment a few times. What does this experiment indicate? We know that the needle of a compass is a tiny magnet which points in north-south direction. When we bring a magnet close to it, the needle gets deflected. We have also seen that compass needle gets deflected when the current flows in a nearby wire. Can you connect these two observations? When the current flows, through a wire, does the wire behave like a magnet? This is what a scientist called Hans Christian Oersted also wondered. His picture has been given in figure 14.18. He was the first person who noticed the deflection of compass needle every time the current was passed through the wire. So, when electric current passes through a wire, it behaves like a magnet. This is the magnetic effect of the electric current. In fact, an electric current can be used to make magnets. Do you find it too surprising? Let us try it out. Figure 14.19 An Electromagnet Here we can observe a needle wrapped with wire. This wire has been connected to a cell. This is a closed circuit. Remember not to switch on the current for more than a few seconds at a time. The electromagnet weakens the cell quickly if left connected. Electromagnet Activity 14.6 Take around 75 cm long piece of insulated flexible wire and an iron nail. An insulated wire is covered with plastic, cloth or it is enameled. The iron nail should be about 6 
to 10 cm long. Wind the wire tightly around the nail in the form of a coil. Connect the free ends of the wire to the terminals of a cell through a switch as you can observe in figure 14.19. Place some pins on or near the end of the nail. Now switch on the current. What happens? Do the pins cling to the tip of the nail? Switch off the current. Are the pins still clinging to the end of the nail? The coil in the above activity behaves like a magnet when electric current flows through it. When the electric current is switched off, the coil generally loses its magnetism. Such coils are called electromagnets. The electromagnets can be made very strong and can lift very heavy loads. Do you remember the crane about which you read in chapter 13 of class 6? The end of such a crane has a strong electromagnet attached to it. The electromagnets are also used to separate magnetic material from the junk. Doctors use tiny electromagnets to take out small pieces of magnetic material that have accidentally fallen in the eye. Many toys also have electromagnets inside them. Page 169 14.5 Electric Bell We are quite familiar with an electric bell. It has an electromagnet in it. Let us observe how it works. Figure 14.20 tells us about the circuit of an electric bell. It consists of a coil of wire wound on an iron piece. The coil acts as an electromagnet. An iron strip with a hammer at one end is kept close to the electromagnet. There is a contact screw near the iron strip. When the iron strip is in contact with the screw, the current flows through the coil which becomes an electromagnet. It then pulls the iron strip. In the process, the hammer at the end of the strip strikes the gong of the bell to produce a sound. However, when the electromagnet pulls the iron strip, it also breaks the circuit. The current through the coil stops flowing. Will the coil remain an electromagnet? The coil is no longer an electromagnet. It no longer attracts the iron strip. The iron strip comes back to its original position and touches the contact screw again. This completes the circuit. The current flows in the coil and the hammer strikes the gong again. This process is repeated in quick succession. The hammer strikes the gong every time the circuit is completed. This is how the bell rings. Figure 14.2 Two, zero. Circuit of an electric bell Keywords Battery Circuit diagram Electric components Electric bell Electromagnet Fuse Heating effect of current Magnetic effect of current. What you have learned. 1. It is convenient to represent electric components by symbols. Using these, an electric circuit can be represented by a circuit diagram. 2. When an electric current flows through a wire, the wire gets heated. It is the heating effect of current. This effect has many applications. Page 170 3. Wires made from some special materials melt quickly and break when large electric currents are passed through them. These materials are used for making electric fuses which prevent fires and damage to electric appliances. 4. When 
an electric current flows through a wire, it behaves like a magnet. 5. A current carrying coil of an insulated wire wrapped around a piece of iron is called electromagnet. 6. Electromagnets are used in many devices. Exercises 1. Draw in your notebook the symbols to represent the following components of electrical circuits. Connecting wires Switch in the off position Bulb Cell Switch in the on position and Battery 2. Draw the circuit diagram to represent the circuit you can observe in figure 14.21. Figure 14.21 This is an open circuit. A bulb has been connected to a battery with the help of wire. The wire has also been connected to a safety pin. This safety pin is the point of disconnect between the two wires. 3. In figure 14.22, you can observe four cells fixed on a board. Draw lines to indicate how you will connect their terminals with wires to make a battery of four cells. Figure 14.22 The first cell has the positive terminal at top and negative terminal at the bottom. The second and third cell have negative terminal at the top and positive terminal at the bottom. The fourth cell has the positive terminal at the top and negative terminal at the bottom. 4. The bulb in the circuit you can observe in figure 14.23 does not glow. Can you identify the problem? Make necessary changes in the circuit to make the bulb glow. Figure 14.23 in this figure, we can observe a couple of cells. The cells meet each other at positive terminals. A wire originating from the negative terminal of both the cells connects to a bulb. This is a closed circuit. Page 171 5. Name any two effects of electric current. 6. When the current is switched on through a wire, a compass needle kept nearby gets deflected from its north-south position. Explain. 7. Will the compass needle deflect when the switch in the circuit you can observe in figure 14.24 is closed? Figure 14.24 Here we have a compass in a match box. This has been connected with the help of wires to a bulb. This is a closed circuit. 8. Fill in the blanks. A. Longer line in the symbol for a cell represents its blank. Terminal B. The combination of two or more cells is called a blank. C. When current is switched on in a room heater, it blank. D. The safety device based on the heating effect of electric current is called a blank. 9. Mark T if the statement is true and F if it is false. A. To make a battery of two cells, the negative terminal of one cell is connected to the negative terminal of the other cell. B. 
when the electric current through the fuse exceeds a certain limit the fuse wire melts and breaks c an electromagnet does not attract a piece of iron d an electric bell has an electromagnet 10 do you think an electromagnet can be used for separating plastic bags from a garbage heap explain page 172 11 an electrician is carrying out some repairs in your house he wants to replace a fuse by a piece of wire would you agree give reasons for your response 12 zubeda made an electric circuit using a cell holder you can observe in figure 14.4 a switch and a bulb when she put the switch in the on position the bulb did not glow help zubeda in identifying the possible defects in the circuit 13 in the circuit in figure 14.25 One. Would any of the bulb glow when the switch is in the off position? Two. What will be the order in which the bulbs A, B, and C will glow when the switch is moved to the on position? Figure fourteen point two five. Here we can observe three bulbs A. b c they have been connected to a battery with the help of a wire this is an open circuit extended learning activities and projects 1 set up the circuit you can observe in figure 14.17 again move the key to on position and watch carefully in which direction the compass needle gets deflected switch off the current now keeping rest of the circuit intact reverse the connections at the terminal of the cell again switch on the current note the direction in which the needle gets deflected think of an explanation paheli and bojo saw a magic trick some time back The magician placed an iron box on a stand. He then called Bojo and asked him to lift the box. Bojo could easily lift the box. Now the magician made a show of moving his stick around the box while muttering something. He again asked Bojo to lift the box. This time Bojo could not even move it. The magician again muttered something and now bojo could lift the box the audience including paheli and bojo were very impressed with the show and felt that the magician had some supernatural powers however after reading this chapter paheli is wondering if the trick was indeed some magic or some science was involved can you guess what science might be involved page 173 2 make four electromagnets with 20 40 60 and 80 turns connect them one by one to a battery of two cells bring the electromagnet near a box of pins count the number of pins attracted by it compare the strengths of the electromagnets 3 Using an electromagnet you can make a working model of a railway signal as you can observe in figure 14.26 Figure 14.26 a working model of a railway signal Here we can observe a cardboard signal This cardboard signal has been connected with the help of a thread to an iron nail This iron nail has been connected to a coil. This coil has been connected to a battery. 
This is an open circuit. 4. Visit an electric shop. Request an electrician to show you the various types of fuses and MCB and to explain how they work. Did you know? The credit for the invention of the electric bulb is usually given to Thomas Alva Edison, though others before him had worked on it. Edison was a remarkable man. He made some 1300 inventions including the electric bulb, gramophone, the motion picture camera and the carbon transmitter, which facilitated the invention of the telephone. Figure 14.27 Thomas Alva Edison He lived from AD 1847 to 1931. The chapter 14 of total 18 chapters of the book ends here. Narrator Akash Ahuja Producer Vandana Arimardan Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India